Currently, there are three Native Science Field Centers, one in Montana at Blackfeet Community College, the second in Wyoming at Fremont County School District Number 21, and the third in South Dakota at Pine Ridge's Ogallala Lakota College. Well, I think a lot more people should, you know, take more care of their land, like us. Help preserve these mountains, these forests that we have, this grass that's growing, everything around us, and we need to pay, pay attention to it. We started out with the concept of the outdoor classrooms. And we had previous experience working with elders, working with fluent speakers, cultural leaders, and putting together programs that really focused on learning about the traditional knowledge. How do we tie that together to make it more holistic? Native science is, the, is like the link between us and the world, you know, Mother Earth. And it's just a connection that helps us understand her. Seventh generation is found in all Native cultures. And it's what we do in our lifetime that we've learned from the previous seven generations that will dictate the outcome for the next seven generations. Why aren't our children succeeding in the Western academics? Why are we struggling in our communities? A lot of it is, is that disconnect. We really need to start looking at what is relevant. What is relevant in our communities that our children can can hold on to and build their lives around. It is very sacred to us because Mother Earth is like our mother, so we have to protect her. By preparing our kids for that change, by teaching them the things and making the connections they need to community members, our professionals, or as well as to the content, the language, the culture, the science and the balance of all of that. It's gonna prepare them for the change as well as prepare them for adulthood, as well as prepare them for life. Make an impact on science in these kids' lives by putting their identity behind it, I think is really, um, it, it helps them to see it better and to respect it better. When you provide an opportunity for learning to happen, we're valuing both the Native knowledge and the Western science as equal. I think one of the really important things for our, our kids is um, being involved in the Native Science Centers. And the reason being is that we have a connection as Native people to the Earth. And in everything we do in life, it is geared or motivated by science from everything, every aspect. And so our kids are able to see that right now firsthand through a cultural perspective. You think about native science and, and everything that we've had to, to learn through generations, generations of, of people surviving, and that's valuable. You know, there's, there's so much that we have to share with everybody. You know, we, we have these gifts, and everybody has them. But it's being able to really understand that and nurture those gifts and then use those gifts to make a difference. And we do, all Native peoples do observe the animals. They teach us a lot about our ecosystem, and and they do like uh, have names of what they taught us is usually how they're named in native languages. And there is the white tail deer. Yeah, it's white tails. He's smaller than the mule deer, and the horns are a lot more smaller. I think a lot of kids contain great amounts of knowledge from their elders and from their cultures that it's extremely valuable, that it has a lot of science in it, you know, and that's something that they should be very proud of. And it's that knowledge and that perspective that they can bring to science that can really help them be change makers in the future. 
grandparents to be just so almost to tears because they're seeing the language or they're hearing the language. It fills their heart with pride. Youth. Last night was very impressive presentations. And um, you guys have great leadership. Wind River, Pine Ridge, Blackfoot. That's impressive. Impressive. We go on field trips or, or we uh, learn our Blackfeet language. I think it's important that we should um, all teach each other the language and try to bring it back. It's an important part of who we are as people. Kids being able to speak their native language um, is something that we hope to um, achieve in a, at our school. We're working on it. It's been kind of a lifelong project, but we're hoping to revive our language. I just think it's a wonderful program. You know, and I hope it's uh, something that's lasting, you know, and, and it's not just short term as long as the money's available, you know. I think, I think um, it's really important for our kids to learn about all these issues. I, I mean, I, I can't talk enough about global warming. It's something that really scares me because it's going to affect our children that are that, uh, at 10 now, you know. I mean, we're learning about the glaciers, you know. There aren't going to be any. Our land's just changing uh, in a way that um, that won't suit us, you know. She's just changing in a way that won't suit us, and we either have to change with it or need to do something about her. I learned that climate change affects the tribes that have come here because their areas are seeing maybe a lot more sunshine and less moisture in the air, and more animals have been moving about in different places, and they, they become either more or less native to the places where they should be. The animals know a lot about climate change, and we're watching them. Turnips are part of our culture, too. We call them timsilas, and we usually go pick them, but because it's so hot and the um, climate is changing, we have to pick them earlier, and the choke cherries too, we have to go out and pick them earlier, or if we don't, then it's they're too dry, or we can't find them, or they're gone. And showing them that this really is science, that when we go out at um, the last two weeks of June and the beginning of July and dig timsalas, that that's science. How did we know that that's the only time that we can go out and dig timsalas? How did we know that we can peel those plants and that we can braid them and that we can save them for years and use them for soup? You know, that's science. Everything that we did was science. So I, I just think that this whole program and everything about it is, um, it's a long time coming, it's been a long time coming for our people. Hopa Mountain is working with the three Native Science Field Centers to learn more about how to respectfully integrate Western science with traditional ways of knowing. Traditional knowledge systems are old and based on observation, and they're based on community knowledge that's carried and shared over time. The field centers are bringing this knowledge forth by involving people across the communities as they work together to think about what's important for children to know and then teach it in ways that are appropriate for their level and interest. Language, history, culture first. Then bring in and make those ties back to the Western academics and see what happens. See if your children are, are any more motivated. Well, I want to help do the environment and help the world stay clean and everything.